today we're going to be doing another battle. Today we have Mirage Fafner and we have Variant Lucifer. So as you guys know in the anime, Free um, got to go against Lane um, before the series started and I'm pretty sure according to the anime, he was using Geist Fafner against Lane's um, first Ur Uranus and in the end, I think it, it it we don't we don't get to see the battle, but according to the faces that we got, to, like the expressions on like Shu and Free, it can be it's likely that Ling used um his Uranus and destroyed Geist Fafner. I'm not exactly sure how it really turned out because we never really got to see it, but that's just my kind of interpretation on it. But we're here today. We have Mirage Fafner, Free's newly evolved bait, and we have Lucifer, which is the evolved form of first Uranus. And yeah, I'm just going to take these two and battle them against each other. And also, due to a request um, I got, I'm also going to be using the Absorb Driver for this video. So um, yeah, I'm just going to switch in between the Nothing Driver and the Absorb Driver in the middle of the video. But before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And let's get ourselves into some Beyblade battles. All right, so first off, Let's go with Free and his classic hand spin against Variant Lucifer. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! Oh man, that barrier is really easy. And so Lucifer has that rubber barrier which like really helps Fafner to spin still. Like look at that. Fafner's like literally picked up speed right after like it started hitting Lucifer. But here we are. It's just gonna be LED this time. Mobius does have better LED than Fafner is nothing driver, so obviously um, Fafner could not win the battle, but let's just do a few more hands from battles. It's kind of fun, on, honestly. Three can go shoot. Like, look at that. Like, Fafner could speed so quickly just because of the rubber barrier. And, of course, they slow down quickly because of the rubber barrier as well, so I don't know. Alright, either way, here we are at the end. Who knows, maybe not, may, maybe Mirage Fafner will be able to tie this for this round. Let's see. And of course not, Mobius is still a lot better than Fafner. So, now that we are done with hand spinning, let's upgrade ourselves to slow launch. So, there we are. And here is Lucifer Go. And once again, they are equalizing. But honestly, oh, looks like good. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something, but it, I didn't. It turns out it wasn't what I thought it was, so I'll, I'll just slide, put that aside for now. But okay, so that, that one was a lot closer than last time, but Lucifer's still won with that little rotation right here. I think I think it's gonna get boring if I keep doing slow launches and stuff. So here we go. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! So that's the fast launch. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! Man, we got like one good hit, and then like, that was it. I, 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 I wish that Fafner had like a stronger attack because right now it's kind of ending up in a, <laughs> a equalization battle. Like even more so than Longinus. Like Longinus could actually get a few good hits and possibly even knock Lucifer out of the stadium, but Fafner just cannot, yeah, like just like that. Alright, maybe if I launch Lucifer first we'll be seeing like different results, but let's just see how it goes. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. And here is Fafner. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Okay, I I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Like, I know that they hit each other, but, like, I don't know if it was, like, Lucifer's barrier or something, but Fafner really just, like, bounced back and, like, just, like, slammed into the pocket right there. So I'm not sure what exactly caused Fafner to ring out right there, but that was a better battle than what we've seen before, so let's just do that again. Three, two, and shoot. And here is Lucifer. Go shoot. Oh great, and we're here for another equalizing battle. After the same thing, I'm just going to take the Absorb Driver and put it on. As it is right now, it's not looking very exciting. It's just kind of a little bit, you know. But, let's just keep going with this for now. And, obviously the winner once again is going to be Variant Lucifer. So now, let's just um, take Mirage Factor and put it into absorb mode. I'm not going to put it into counter mode because it's technically not meant to go against Breakspin Beyblades in counter mode. So 
here we go again. Here is the Spark Ghost. And here is Factor 3, 2, 1 Ghost. Okay, so it looks like it looks like Absorb um, moves a little bit faster than nothing in the beginning of the battle, but in the end, it's not really doing anything different than um, nothing. But who knows? Absorb does have a slightly better life after death, so maybe we'll be able to see it beat or tie Lucifer this time. And the winner this time is going to be Mirage Crafner. So let's just do it again. 3, 2, 1, go. And here is Crafner. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh man, Crafner's momentum kind of uphill right there. So we're here for another battle. For some reason, like, like Longinus did the same exact thing, but for some reason with, with Fafner doing this, doing this, like, instead of Longinus, it's just not as exciting. Maybe because, like, we don't get to see the big hits, like, every so often with Fafner. Um, here we are, and once again, Fafner takes the win. Um, I'm going to watch Fafner first, maybe we'll see any, maybe we'll see a different, um, performance here at 3 2 And here is Mr. Go Shoot! Oh, huge hit! Man, that, that was some speed Fafner had right there, like, look. It, it managed to, like, slam Lucifer into the wall, but, like, I mean, in the, in the end, like, this is what it resulted to, so I'm not sure if I should be happy about that or not. But here we are. At the end, most likely Fafner is going to win. Oh, never mind, that one was a tie, and yeah. So, you know, that one had a pretty explosive hit, so I'm going to keep launching Fafner first. Three, two, one, go. And I launch it into the pocket. Please don't mind that. Three, two, and go. And here is this first go. Okay, so we got decent hits, but that time it wasn't nearly as good. So one thing that I haven't mentioned is that um, after a few more battles of um, the Dwarf Driver, I am going to take this rubber piece and put it onto the Absorb Driver to make it um, have the have absorb break so it's a mod that was that i saw on drago galaxy you basically um twist the rubber band con like a multiple amount of times to make this flat part of the door driver stick out which gives it a um, very aggressive movement speed but um for now we're just going to launch regular and do a few more battles okay Let's do that again. You know, I think that Fafner when it launches first goes out of control, so I think we're just going to go with this for three, two, one, go. Shoot. Wow. Okay. So that time we did see a pretty good amount of explosive hits. Um, Lucifer just kind of deflected Fafner, however, and Fafner got shot into the pocket. But let's see if there's anything different this time. And no, there's not. So I think this is going to be the last battle um, with the regular Zord Driver. Right after this I'm going to be putting on the rubber band and maybe we'll be able to see some better hits um, once we have the Absorb Break mod on Fafner. But let's just see how this one goes right now. And the winner is going to be... Okay, I think that was Fafner. Not, not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure that was Fafner. Alright, so this is how you put on the mod. So basically, you you get the opening right here on the absorb driver. And you just basically keep on twisting and putting it on continuously. So twist on, twist on, twist and... So this is going to be the last twist. And here we are. All right, so as you can see now, the absorb driver has only the flat part sticking out and the rubber band is holding it in place. So if we were to take the launcher and launch Fafner now, it would it rampages around the stadium at high speed. So maybe with this, Fafner will be able to deal pretty big hits onto Lucifer. So let's just see how here is Fafner. Go shoot. And nope, never mind. It was uh it was it self killed itself. I'll just launch it in again. Here we go. Ooh, pretty good hits right there. But in the end it really couldn't do much. Just circling around Lucifer. 
and we're going to be seeing another battle where they're just going to equalize, but yeah. You know, it'd be funny if Fafnir didn't hit Lucifer and Lucifer just like ran out of stamina or something, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Fafnir is going to be hitting Lucifer once it comes down. And let's just see. I, I wonder how much life after death this um, modded Absorb Driver has. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, that's a pretty good amount. Here, wait. If I just do this. Honestly, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. Look at that. Man. Okay, so even though it's like, even though it's standing pretty tall, it actually has a pretty good amount of LAD because of this um, cone area right here. But either way, that's not over here. Four, three, two, and go. Let's continue on with the battle. Here is Fafner. Go shoot. Oh, and we got a knockout. Fafner rampaging around the stadium right there. Lucifer did not stand a chance in that battle, and Fafner got a point. Honestly, I really like this mob because, like, Fafner. Fafner can actually like be aggressive in the stadium, which isn't something that it normally does. And I really like seeing that in action. Go shoot! Alright, one good hit. Another good hit. And it even got a knockout right there. Like look at that. Like that that's why I that's why my, my tournament combo has evolution dash on Fafner. Like if it can actually like slam into the opponent, it can get good hits. That's why I have a EV dash of my tournament combo. Huh. For now, we're sticking with this. This is actually doing a pretty good job right now. So let's just continue on with a few more battles before we call this video to an end. So here we go once again. Three, two, and go shoot. And here is Fafner. Go shoot. Oh, huge hit. Lucifer lost a ton of stamina right there and is being hit a lot by Fafner. But we are here at the end. And the winner is going to be... Yeah, okay, that one was a... I, honestly, I, I, th this is really fun. I am not going to lie. This is extremely fun to do. Um, I really recommend that you guys use this mod because this 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 is making Fafner a beast right now. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And here is Fafner once again. Oh, sorry, it was click once. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Oh man, Fafner, Fafner, um, kind. Of it's so momentum got used against it and got knocked out, but these hits are huge, like, like, there's like a barrier that literally tries to prevent, like, huge attacks, and Fafnir's literally just, like, not minding that at all, and just, like, stri like going straight for Lucifer. Um, let's just do, like, maybe, like, one or two more battles for this video. Three, two, and go, shoot! And here is Fafnir right here, go, shoot! And that was, once again, a ring out for Fafnir. Um, well, not for Fafner, on Fafner. It was just kind of in an unfortunate place. And like, with that much firepower, it's just kind of like a 50-50 chance on like who's who's aimed for the wall, who's aimed for the pocket. That time just happened to be Fafner was going through the pocket. Three, two, and go shoot. And last battle. Here we go. Three, two, and go shoot. All right, here we are. And it does not look like we'll be seeing a huge collision for this last battle. But who knows, maybe Fafner will actually outspin Lucifer before it even gets to the bottom. Let's just see. Although I doubt that's going to happen, Lucifer seems to be hanging on um, pretty strong still. So let's just see how this goes. We are at the bottom now. Fafner is going to be hitting Lucifer any second. I hope it's any second by at least. Um, okay, so here we are now. And they're going to... They're, they're not hitting. They're not... Okay, now they're hitting. There we go. Here we are. And the winner in the last battle is going to be, I think that was Lucifer. So the last battle is going to go to Variant Lucifer. And yeah, that is all I have for my video today. You have to see these two duke it out in the stadium. The Nothing Driver and the regular Absorb Driver weren't were really exciting. It was just kind of a uh, um, spin equalization and life after death battle. But once you have to put the Absorb Driver mod, honestly, that was really exciting because we actually got to see some huge hits in the stadium and got to see these two Beyblade just knocking each other around in the stadium. It was really fun to watch, especially like when they just like got slammed into the pocket and just like got like a really um, exciting ring out finish. Um, honestly, like if, if it weren't for this mod, like Fafnir really wouldn't have stood a chance against Lucifer just because of how strong Lucifer is against less spinning Beyblades. But 
just from this video, you can see that Lucifer's barrier is not impenetrable for a left spin. You just need to make sure that you do have enough attack power in order to knock back Lucifer. So just keep that in mind when you are going to when you battle Lucifer in the future. Just make sure that your left spin Beyblade, if you're going against a right spin Lucifer or right spin Beyblade with the 2D chassis, has enough attack power to actually break through the barrier. But either way, that is all that I have for my video today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.